because he traveled from place to place, arrived at a strange village. In this town, all the people were carrying what seemed to be great bundles on their backs. They couldn't look around very well, and they never looked up because of the heavy burdens they carried. Puzzled, the wise old man finally stopped a young fellow. My good man, I am stranger to your land and am fascinated by these large bundles you all carry about, but never seem to put down. What is their purpose? Oh, these, answered the young fellow in a matter of fact way. These are our grudges. My, said the wise old man, that's a lot of grudges to collect at your age. Oh, they're not all mine. Most of them were passed down in my family. The young fellow heaved a weary sigh. <sighs> See that man over there? I have quite a load of grudges against his family. His great-great-grandfather called mine a horse thief when they were both wanting to be elected as mayor. The wise man looked around and shook his head sadly. You all look so unhappy. Is there no way to get rid of these burdens? We've forgotten how, said the young fellow, shifting his load a little. You see, at first we were proud of our grudges. Tourists came from miles around. But after a few years, Grudgeville has become a very dreary place, and nobody comes. And we have forgotten how to stop holding our grudges. If you really want to get rid of those grudges, said the wise old man, I think I know five magic words that will do the trick. You do? asked the fellow hopefully. That would be a miracle. I'll go and have the mayor call the people of Grudgeville together. And off he went as fast as his grudges would let him. The mayor lost no time at all calling all the villagers to the middle of town. And when the may people had quieted down, the mayor said, Good people of Grudgeville, a wonderful thing has happened. A very wise stranger has come into our town. He says he can tell us the magic words that will rid us of these grudges we have carried for generations. How many of you would like to be able to straighten up, have your grudges disappear, look at the world in a whole new way? Listen to the wise words of our visitor then, and do as he tells you. My friends, these are simple words, yet some people find them hard to say, said the wise stranger. I think you have the courage to speak them, that is, 
The trick is that you must say them to each other and truly mean them. The first two words are, I'm sorry. Can you say them? The other three are, I forgive you. Can you say that? Now say these words to each other. There was a long pause and a low grumble from the townspeople. First one person, then another, said the words. Soon they were all saying them to each other, quietly at first, and then louder. And then, would you believe it? <laughs> Just like the wise man predicted, the grudges disappeared. What joy there was in the town. People were heard saying, look how the trees have grown. And is that you, Jim? How did you see your face? There was dancing in the streets that day, and it wasn't long before the mayor changed the name to the town to Joy Town. My mother told me write something uplifting to cheer us as we wait for news to improve. That's not my forte, but she keeps on insisting, so I am attempting to lighten the mood. Stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're here with each other, though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe. But I hope that we'll sing this together someday. My father told me he'd been doing some reading about when all Europe had caught the black. The bubonic plague, old Yersinia Vestis How all things considered, we're lucky, I guess Stay in the house and pick up the phone We're here with each other, though we are alone Six feet apart to keep everyone safe But I hope that we'll sing this together someday They opened a tomb where a mummy was buried Some thousand years ago, sealed with a curse What did they expect? Had they seen no old movies? The ancient Egyptians knew it could be worse Stay in the house and pick up the phone We're here with each other, though we are alone Six feet apart to keep everyone safe But I hope that we'll sing this together someday My brother says, hey, well, at least it's not raining As torrents of water pour down from the sky Cause all you can do now apart from complaining is try to crack jokes so you don't start to cry Stay in the house and pick up the phone We're here with each other though we are alone Six feet apart to keep everyone safe I hope that we'll sing this together someday this been uplifting I did the assignments but it's not so easy to ace this exam the silvery lining we're trying to find it you'll show me I hope when we're out of this jam stay in the house and pick up the phone we're here with each other Six feet apart to keep everyone safe But I hope that we'll sing this together someday I hope that we'll sing this together someday I hope that we'll sing this together someday